Hi, this is Barry A. Simpkins speaking. I'm the inventor of the Simpkins Infinitely Variable Automatic Transmission, or SIVAT. The SIVAT is the type of infinitely variable transmission, otherwise known as an IVT. An infinitely variable transmission is like any CVT in that it has continuously variable change in output ratio, but infinite range, which means that it can go all the way down to zero output speed, regardless of the input speed. Now the CIVAT is unique because it uses ratcheting technology, which is positive and efficient. And uh, in this case, the CIVAT is very low pulsing for a uh, ratcheting drive. Generally, the uh, output speed is 0.1% constant across all ratios. There are some ratios where it reaches as high as 6% at very low speeds. Uh, a refinement of this transmission can get down into the 0.01% ripple possible. It's more efficient than cam-based ratcheting IBTs, uh, which I will explain in the uh, Word document if you request that. Now this is the first proof of concept prototype with no design refinement came right out of the right out of the CAD system as you see it this is no changes are made to this now like all transmissions it has an input output and a means of controlling the ratio of the output to the input in this case with a ratio control lever the input is the chain the sprocket back here and this magenta piece as a unit the output is this output sprocket and this red ring behind it I have white tags of tape that uh, you can see on each of the input and the output so that you can easily see what the ratio change is. Now I'll demonstrate. I'll start off at zero. Zero output. So you'll notice that the output is not moving at all. But the input is moving. Now if I move this lever to the left I can change the ratio and raise it from zero gradually up through and up to a very high ratio, in this case close to one to one. And then I can bring it back down to zero and bring it to a stop, which is like a torque converter, except this is very efficient compared to a torque converter. And it's always engaged. Now this prototype, you notice I've got it mounted on a bicycle frame and I did that for testing so in the testing I wanted to have this prototype the way you see it so that I could test out the proof of principle and then make refinements to it to uh, put it on a bicycle with a bicycle hub that you see here so this transmission will go inside of this hub this sprocket will be replaced with a uh, plate that will bolt, bolt to this flange and uh, then this will be the drive wheel of a bicycle I can test out. Now although it's on a bike frame and will be tested as a bicycle transmission, ultimate uh, purpose of this transmission is to be used for cars, trucks, and machine drives and possibly uh, uh, energy recovery systems that use a flywheel. I will do a moderate redesign of this transmission uh, prototype in order to get it onto a bicycle to do the testing so that I can determine what the uh, power torque values are and what the response is required for this lever. This transmission as you see it here is designed for one-third horsepower output at 300 RPM here on the output. So as you can tell, it's a fairly power or torque dense transmission. Now, one of the features of this CIVAT is that uh, the control lever lends itself for automatic operation. So as you can see, I've got a rubber band on here and uh, the rubber band, uh, rudimentarily is uh, representing some sort of spring uh, mechanism that will push 
this lever into a higher ratio so you can see that it's a higher ratio and if I put a load as an automatic transmission should do put a load on it goes to a lower ratio now this also taken to the extreme has overload protection so if I actually try to stop this with too much load notice that the output stops completely that protects upstream and downstream mechanisms as well as the transmission itself from being loaded so you can uh, overload it so you can uh, define what force is required to uh, protect the overload now I'll go through the ratios again start out at zero output and gradually move it to the left move the lever to the left and you can see the ratio goes up the output ratio goes up to a high gear and back down to any low gear you want including a stop we want to develop the civat from this basic technology to a much more refined transmission or a series of transmissions for um, hybrid vehicles and kinetic energy recovery using flywheels so you could have regenerative braking using this through all of the speeds of the flywheel to take energy pump it through here the civet and into a flywheel and then another civet to pump the energy back from the flywheel into your vehicle saving a lot of energy much more efficient than electrical energy recovery systems so if you're interested in developing a technology that uses this infinitely variable transmission which has potentially a very, very smooth output, uh, probably in the neighborhood of less than a half a percent or better of ripple all the way across the range and much, much better than that in most of your ratios. We are looking for strategic partners and investors if you're interested in this transmission, you can contact us for more information and we will send you a Word document and uh, the proposal that uh, we've prepared for our strategic partner uh, business possibilities. Thank you for watching this video. I'm Barry Simpkins. Goodbye.